I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and today we are going to go with a new chapter of the Muhammadan stupidity. You see, what are the signs that you have true God or not if this God provide you with IQ? But if your God is a fool, what you can do about it? I mean, how the fool can provide you with intelligence if he is a fool? So I was going to talk about different topic, but then I, you know, uh, uh, somebody, <clears throat> he's almost leaving Islam actually, I'm talking to, uh, send me this video. And you know, we spoke about it already, I mean, this topic. Uh, but I want to put more light on this. So this is the Muhammadans, they have this video saying, what did part uh, man say about the Quran? What he say about the Quran? Listen a little bit. So we can laugh together. Back to my question. If Muslim scholars of the centuries from the beginning made dead sure that when they copied their sacred text, they didn't change anything, why didn't Christian scribes do the same? Christian scribes did not do the same thing. Okay, and he goes on. You, you, you can go on. But this is not him talking, right? This is the Muslim talking. But look what happened now. The Muhammadan stupidity is beyond imagination. Why? Because what they are saying to us that the book of Allah, which is sent to Isa, and the book of Allah, which is sent to Moses, should be preserved by the Christians, not by Allah. Just to show you how stupid dummy this cult is. And the, what this has proved to us that Islam has nothing to do with us. Because if this book is sent by Allah, why are you stupid asking the Christians to protect the book of Allah? Can you find me more dummy than this cult? If this is the book sent by your God, what's my problem? I advise the Christians when the Muslims, they say to you that the, uh, the Injil is corrupt, say to them, okay, you are talking about the Injil of Allah, so what's our problem? Your God, this is a proof to us that your God is not God. All those chapters in the front of us, they are repeating Torah and Injil, Torah and Injil, Torah and Injil, Torah and Injil. All of them saying one, one thing, that we gave Isa and we gave Moses, we gave them the, 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 the Torah and the Injil. So your stupid God, he sent the Torah and the Injil, and you are saying to us that your stupid God could not preserve the Torah and the Injil. Isn't it this is alone is a proof to us that the one who could not prevent his books from being destroyed before, he will not be able to protect his book, which came after. I mean, when when somebody go to work or apply for a work, they ask him for a resume, don't they? If we review the resume of Allah, Allah, he wrote 124,000 books. All of them, he could not protect them. This is what the Muslims say to us. This is not our claim. 
This is what the Muhammadan, the worshippers of the black stone, they say to us that this God, he have 124,000 brothers. Allah, he Okay. Uh, and Allah, he failed 124,000 times. How stupid it is to say so. Right? Uh, look look at this Abdul. Look at the smart Abdul. Just to show you that this religion is a religion of genius. He's trying to fix it. He make it more blind. Look at this. And this is additional proof that this God is a stupid God. Because the stupid God, he always provides his followers with stupid answers. Especially those who claim that they have knowledge of it. He says, Christian Prince, it says that the book given to the prophets, know these corrupted ones that you have, you stupid idiot, that would not get anything. Where is the books? I mean, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. So where is the books? Who cares about He gave it to who? The question is, are they those are the books of your God, Allah? What kind of God he cannot protect his books? I have my books in Amazon. I challenge anyone to corrupt them. I am not God. I am not God. Your stupid God, he sent 124,000 books and he could not protect them. And you must then just go make YouTube, make a scandal saying that my God, Allah, is a stupid God. He sent the angel and the angel is corrupt and you make a scandal about it. What's our, what's our problem? Go and give a finger to your God. Actually, why you want to give a finger to your God? I will give it to him. Here we go. We are giving a big finger to Allah. This is how stupid silly this religion is. If your God, and that's in the same time, the stupid Muhammadan, they keep saying to us the Bible is corrupt, but the Quran says it confirmed the book. I mean, look at this stupidity. Confirming what is, uh, look at that, look at the funny, the funny translation here. It says in Arabic, literally, confirming what is between his hands. The word hand is gone. The word between his hand is gone. False people. Here we go, guys. Look at the answer. Look at the answer. Just to show you the stupidity again. Allah is not supposed to protect his previous books. Have you ever heard of a stupid answer like this before? Look at this dummy. Dummy as yummy. Priceless dummy. Allah brother is not supposed to protect his previous books. Okay. How come is not supposed who told you that? Allah he told you that. And why Allah is not supposed to protect his previous books, brother? And why Allah is supposed to protect the last book, brother? And as long as Allah protects the last book, brother, can you recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult, brother? Can you recite for me the 200 verses missing from the chapter of Ahza, brother? Can you recite for me the verses that God aid them, brother? Look what the stupid Quran says. لا مبدل لكلمات الله. No one can change the word of Allah. He did not say the Quran. He did not say. He says nobody can change the word of Allah. Read it. Nobody can change the word of Allah. The Quran says so. So those stupid Abdul, they ask, they are so desperate to the point they go to an atheist. But look what the atheists say. That I think, I think their stupidity is beyond imagination. I mean, didn't they notice what the atheist he said? Don't they? Don't you notice that the atheist you are asking for his help? He just admitted that the Quran is a stupid book and it's a book of corruption. Because this atheist, you are seeking his help, he said that Jesus was a crucified. This atheist who you're seeking his help, he's saying that Jesus, he told, he told, it's not a fiction, it's not a fabrication. He told that he is God and he is son of God. Listen and laugh at yourself. Every word he is saying, and you know, this is how stupid evil Islam is to the point they are asking somebody who don't believe in God. This guy, he don't even, he, don't, he, don't, he will not even piss at Allah. So you are so desperate to ask people who they are atheists who deny God, 
to support God? I mean, how stupid is that? We seek help from an atheist who deny Allah to support Allah. How far the stupidity can go? So this is your friend is making fun of your Quran. He compared even the Quran to yellow pages. <laughs> Muslims believe in Jesus Christ. There's a lot of viable. Uh, <laughs> Muslims believe in unreliable. <laughs> What does it mean to be unreliable? <laughs> Muslims believe in Jesus Christ. There's a lot of uh, interest, I think, from the Muslim community. And many Muslims feel that well, your conclusions, your historical conclusions of who Jesus Christ is, is more commensurate with the Muslim uh, idea than it is with uh, the Christian one. I, I wouldn't say that they line up well with the uh, Muslim view. <laughs> I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. Did you hear it? So when you make videos saying what this guy is about the Quran, that's what he's about the Quran. He just said that he believed that Jesus died and he was crucified. So the Quran is a book of lies. This is what he said about the Quran. Because when he says something against what the Quran say, and you are asking him to tell us what he said about the Quran, this is what the Quran saying. The Quran saying Jesus was, was crucified. But this guy saying Jesus truly was crucified and he was buried. When the Muhammadan they say that Jesus never taught that he is God, look what he say. I'm not interested in whether Jesus was the son of God because I don't think there is a God. <laughs> and so my understanding is that your conclusion is that Jesus Christ was a messianic prophet. And here, here you see a donkey. G Jesus Christ is a messianic. You know, this, this, you see this stupidity. His name is a Christ. He just said Jesus Christ, and then the, Jesus Christ is a messianic prophet. Have you ever heard of a stupid? This guy he called himself in his website a philosopher. Christ is a Masonic prophet? Do even this guy knows what Masonic prophet mean? Continue. I think he, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he... See, he thought that he is a son of God. This is his teaching. So the Christian did not corrupt. They did not add any things. This is what Jesus said. Continue. He was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. So he just insulted the Quran again because he said that Jesus, he thought he is the Messiah, which means when the Quran says that this is the Messiah, the Quran is made by a liar. His name is Muhammad. And you stupid Muslims asking this guy to witness for the Quran. This is a priceless. I don't know what's wrong with this uh, this YouTube. Even admins, their text is disappearing. <laughs> what's wrong with this YouTube? Even admins, I just saw Andres. The text is gone. The text is gone. <laughs> uh, YouTube very, very weird. <clears throat> Maybe Allah is playing games. So here you notice how far stupid, desperate this cult, this satanic cult. It's called Muhammadan Islam cult. Everything this guy he said is against Islam. And they are making videos saying amazing what he said. Listen carefully again what he said. He gave a big finger in the bum of your God Allah. Jesus really did think he was going to be. Jesus really he did think. The Messiah. That he is the Messiah. So when your stupid Quran say that Jesus, Isa is the Messiah, your Quran is lying according to this guy. This is what this guy he is saying about your stupid Quran. How many times your Quran mentioned that Isa is the Messiah? In this time. And you stupid Muhammad and you are asking the guy to witness what he said about the Quran. This guy, he denied that this guy, he is the Messiah. He just said he thought he is the Messiah. This is how stupid the Muhammadan are. Give me one Muhammadan, I will show you what stupidity means. Do you see how stupid? And the guy, he continue, and even he insult the Quran in the front of this Abdul, and he compare him, compare the Quran to yellow pages he have at home. By the way, this guy, he was hired by Islamic University to teach Muslims how to fight Christianity. He made a lot of money. He worked in the Middle East. This is why he said, I have an Arabic yellow pages did you ask yourself why he have arabic yellow pages because he lived in the middle east and he made a lot of money from the abdul they hire him hoping that he can train muslims to attack christianity 
the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Uh, I, I, I think that that's historically right. <laughs> you know, I think that all this guy, this guy uh, uh, Borat, he looked like a crazy person. You know, you could like his his way of acting. You know, <laughs> you know, you can tell he's a mental issue. However, still he's a, he he have some kind of an intelligence which is perfectly fit to give a finger to Allah. Perfect timing gospel authors, I think all of them think that in some sense, Jesus is God. See, so all the author, he said, according to him, all the author, they believe that Jesus is God. They did not add things, they did not take things, they did believe. If you think that the Bible cannot have any mistakes in it, if you're shown a mistake, then you just refuse to admit it's a mistake. You think either it can be reconciled in some way, or that there's something we just don't understand about it, or, you know, we have, and, and, <laughs> In the Quran, it's mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> so, no, that, that is my view. It's a necessary condition for a book from God not to have contradictions. It's That's an assumption about what kind of book God... But, you know, for me, I like that, actually. If there's contradiction, it's not from God. As long as Allah is the one who put that condition, we examine the Quran in two seconds, we will find the Quran is the book of contradictions. It takes two seconds. This God even don't remember which one he created first, the stars or the mountains. Uh, Armin, he says, unknown gospel writers. Uh, Armin, I think you are a stupid mental. Get out of here, son, son of Muta. You stupid. Don't we say the book of John, you donkey? How that is unknown writer? When we say the book of Luke, how come that is unknown writer? Stupidity is amazing. I have my patient with you. Get out of here, dummy. You are like a camel wearing underwear. Think that he have a diaper and nobody can see his poopoo. But your poopoo is bigger than your size. Unknown writers of the gospel. Stupidity is amazing. So when we say the book of John, according to the book of John, oh, we do not know who is the writer. Go and see John, he introduced himself. He says, my name is John. This is who I am. This is my father. This is my family. This is who I am. And then, he, <laughs> unknown, unknown, brother, unknown. It's unknown. Continue, potato. God could write. I know this is a, an important argument that uh, apologists use for Islam. As somebody who is not either Christian or Muslim, it doesn't make sense to me for humans to say what God has to do. It doesn't make sense to him that a human tell God what he has to do. But this is what Muslims do. Muslims are the most, or sorry, I can't say Muslims, they are Muhammadan, black stone kissers. They are the most hypocrite people ever. When it's their God, they don't ask their God why he did that. Okay, any, any Muslim can tell us why Allah, he decided to be one. Why he is not two. Nobody would dare to ask. If he is one, why he is one? What if Allah, he decided to be seven? Do any Muslim dare to question? This is how silly and this is how stupid you are. And then when you question, when we check the Quran, we find there's no way that Allah is one. Because in the Quran, Allah, he says, if we want to take a wife or a girlfriend, we will take it from us. To say from us, it doesn't make sense to say that us is angels, because angels are not divine. At least the angels are divine too. And that will make the angel, Allah is one of the angels, and maybe he is the highest between them. He is the captain. Then we check, we find that Allah, when he say he want to take a wife from us, he was talking about the virgin who they are a human. So Allah must be human too. This is the yellow pages of Muhammad. And this is stupid God. In the same verse, he said many times we, and he said many times us. We, we religion. And if you change the translation, by the way, you will find the translation change depend, I mean, the Quran change. 
We, okay, Allah is one. Why he's saying we? No, nobody there to question. They say to you, Allah, he like to say we because he feel more uh, respected. So Allah himself, he don't feel like he's respected if he is, uh, if he is one. Allah feel more powerful if he is more than one. <laughs> and then he says, if we like, had we intended to take a wife or a son, we could surely, again, he say we again. Look how many times we. Look, the, the, the Mr. We. This is first time we. This is second time we. This is third time we. We, we, we. And then he says, if we want to take a wife or a girlfriend, by the way, it doesn't say uh, a wife. In Arabic, it says that one, which means a female. We could surely have taken it from us. Does it say it? Hey, Muslim, does it take it? This is your Muslim translation. I challenge the Muslim to tell me why they put the word it. Allah is talking about taking a wife. Is she a cow? When we talk about a human, English is not my first language, as you know. But as I know that when you say it, I'm talking either about an object or an animal. So Allah here is talking about taking a female to have sex with her. How she became it? Do we have any Muslim to explain? Maybe Allah is the same as Muhammad. He liked to have sex with animals. The fatwa is very famous when the Muslim cleric, all of them, they agree that if a human, a Muslim, he have sex with a goat or an animal, his hajj is still valid. So you can go around the Kaaba, do hajj, still in the, at night you go and do the, the goat. Then he continues saying he will take in it, this female, from us. So how Allah is one and us, nobody dare to question. Actually, the Muslim even don't dare to ask how Allah, he lift himself up to the sky, how Allah, he came down from the sky, how Allah, he sat down in the chair. When it's come to our God, they question everything. This is how hypocrite this Muhammadan religion is. One of you, he just sent me, <coughs> this Muslim actually, <coughs> let us see. Okay, well, he sent me this video, says, what do you think about this video? He find it amazing. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, let's share it with you on the screen. A mathematic mathematical miracle. Let us watch together and see. I'm sure it's going to be laughable. This is how desperate the Mohammedan are. I talk to you about the biggest surah of the Quran. That's what I'm going to talk to you about first. The biggest surah of the Quran. Now, what is it, both folks? Yeah, this is surah number two. Surah number two. This surah, this biggest surah, number two, is made up of how many ayahs? 286. 286 ayahs. Somewhere in this surah, the ayah occurs, the, I'll recite the Arabic first, and roughly translate after, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطَى Thus we made you a middle nation. One of the utterances in this surah, that's found in here is thus we made you a middle nation. Now what's the Arabic word for middle? Wasat. wasat. The Arabic word is wasat. You don't have to know that. But know that this statement, this declaration occurs in this surah. This surah, was it written? Or was it delivered in the form of speech? Speech. And also, as a historical comment, it wasn't delivered at once. It took almost 10 years to be revealed. So this, this one surah was coming piecemeal. And while it was coming down, pieces of other surahs were also being revealed. And the messenger would instruct his companions, these ayahs belong to this surah, and those ayahs belong to that surah. But when the whole thing is said and done, Baqarah, the second surah, is made up of 286. And in ayah number, listen to this carefully now, in ayah number 143, 
in ayah number 143, the Lord says, we made you a middle nation. How many ayahs in this surah again? 286. And where does he call us a middle nation? In the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Do you see how stupid they are? Anyone who knows little mathematics, he will know that 143 is not the middle, you donkey. You stupid idiot. Who taught you mathematics? Who in the world who taught you mathematics? He said, where? In the middle. In the middle. Did you see it? But is 143 in the middle, you donkey? Is number 5 the middle number in number 10? No, it's not. Because when you say in the middle, it has to be both sides are equal. Is that correct? To make it simple for the Abdul, stupidity is amazing. And stupidity is my enemy. This is a line. And let us say the line have 100 line. This is number one. And it end with number 100. We are typing in Arabic. Hold on. Let us change the color. <clears throat> And here is number one. So number 50 is not in the middle. For very simple reason. The middle is where both sides are equal. How we can make it something more to understood? If we make it number 10, not number 9, number number 100, to make it easier. What is the middle of number 10? Remember the middle. The middle. The middle is where both sides in that point is equal. So number 5 itself is not the equal number. Let us try to explain it more. Let us make here a little sign. We choose orange, let us see. Let us say this is number five. Here. And this is number five here, because we have two five, right? So to be in the middle is where you have to be between two numbers from both sides will make the equal numbers. So here we have five and here we have five. So where is the middle? Muslims, where is the middle? If you say the middle is number five from the side, then that number is not the middle number is it the first five is the middle or the second five is the first middle people do you understand what i'm saying five is not the middle and especially we are talking about 143 so if we step in the step 143 we are in 143 and we are not in the middle yet
So to have the middle, it had to be between two numbers, and those two numbers will be equal. That is the middle. So if I say four and a half, and four and a half, that half is where the middle, supposedly. But that middle is impossible, why? Because simply, if Allah is making it a miracle that you are in the middle, so should be in one chapter to be in the middle, and that chapter is the chapter of the cow, shouldn't be maybe this one should be in the, in the middle of the Quran? Is the Quran is a one chapter? In the same time, this guy, he said, that Allah, he put the, the Allah, he gave this verses to Muhammad within more than 10 years. And Muhammad, he told him to put it there. Do you see the stupidity? But because they are so desperate to find anything in this book, this book is the book of the turtle, a turtle who have no IQ. And as long as you are talking about the chapter of the cow and talking about mathematical miracle in the cow, well, what about we read it and we die laughing? This is the cow chapter. Why it's called the cow chapter? Because Allah, he resurrected a human being by beating him by beef. So the Muslim, they did not see the stupidity of the reasoning of the cow chapter to be called the cow chapter. They found a miracle that in this verse is in the middle, supposedly. If we go to the verse, to the cow chapter, let's go there just to just for a laugh. From the first beginning of the chapter, you will see the stupidity. Alif Lam Mim, you ask the Muslim, what does that mean? They say to you, it's a miracle. Like, how? Well, but nobody knows what they mean. So how you know it's a miracle if nobody knows what they mean? And since when letters are miracles? I will make a miracle now. G, D, O. This is a miracle. Then they say, this book Wherefore, there's no doubt. Look, how no, there's no doubt and nobody was accepting it. Until now, nobody is accepting it. And then, and those who, uh, look, by the way, this is the translation, the translation for five Arabic words. All of this is a translation for five Arabic words. Do you see how the book is clear? Look, look with me. Five Arabic words. How many lines we have? All what the verse is verse saying that there's this book, there's no doubt about it. So what is the rest? Because they're trying to fix the stupidity, so they have to add more, more, more words to explain the dumb Quran. And then he says, "Who believe in the ghaib? Have you ever heard of somebody saying such a thing? Ghaib? How how people they are reading English and they will know what ghaib mean? Is that a translation or a stupidity?" Ghaib mean the unseen. And then they do pray. And then they spend from what we gave them. What does that mean? Nothing. And then look what he said. And who believe in the Quran and Sunnah. Hmm? Between two brackets, Quran and Sunnah. Does it say really there? Quran and Sunnah? No, it says what is sent to you. But you can let it Quran. And what is sent to people before you? The Torah and the Gospel. Muhammad, he believed in the Torah and the Gospel. So how he believe in a book which does not exist, as Muslims they claim? Is it this is stupid? And then we continue. It says, they will, dis they will be disbelieved. You tell them or not, but later they converted to Islam. So this is a false prophecy. He just told them, verily who, those who disbelieve, it's a saying for them, you warn them or don't, they will not believe. Did you guys, do you see it? Do you see it? They will not believe, but all the people of Quraysh later, they became believers. 
that Muhammad make Muhammad a false prophet. So the Muslim, they are desperate. They are looking for a verse in the middle of the chapter, and that is saying he made you a, a, a middle nation. <laughs> but he just made a false prophecy. They will not believe. If you go and read the interpretation, you will see talking about who? About the people who later became believers. So how the stupid God, you do not know that those they will believe. We just started the, the, the chapter, by the way. We are in the beginning. This is a long chapter. Look like every verse is a joke. And this verse here, chapter 2, verse number 6, is a clear proof that Muhammad is a fraud. For he said, Allah said to him, suppose to you warn them, you don't warn them, they will not believe. But later, all of them will believe. And by the way, they will not believe and believe because of the sword. And look what he said, what he said too. Allah, he said, seal on their heart, you stupid idiot, son of Muta Muhammad. So why Allah, he send you to them to warn them if they will not listen anyway and Allah, he set a seal in their heart. So what the problem? The problem is the stupid Allah. Allah, he set a seal in their heart. Allah, he set a seal in their hearing. Allah, he closed their eyes. Read the verse in front of you. So the stupid Muhammad, he, in order to explain why nobody want to believe in him, he says, okay, Allah told me, I warn them or not, they will not believe, brother. And Allah, he said their seal in their heart. So Allah is the problem, not the not, not those disbelievers. Because how they can believe if Allah, the devil, he, he closed the faucet. Do you see your stupidity? I have my Skype is open. If anyone want to go and call and make a comment about what we are saying for the free, especially again, Muslims, you have to be a Muslim. All right? My Skype is open. When when God, he said they will not believe, and later all of them, they believe, that's mean this God is a potato. And not only that, he confirmed why they will not believe, because he set a seal in their heart. He set a seal in their hearing. They are closed from accepting Allah guidance. You see, this, you see it even the Muslim translation, the stupid Abdul who translates, he says, i.e., they are closed from accepting Allah guidance. Closed from? What does that mean? And on hearing, there is a covering. Fast translation, because it says Allah is the one who set the seal. Again, you change the translator, you will find totally new Quran, as usual. This is a potato cult. Every one of them, he give you different words, different, look look how short it become. Look what happened. We just changed the translator. Allah has sealed their heart and their uh, 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 hearing in their heart and their eyes. Abdul. Who is the one who sealed the heart of a human being from believing in Allah? Any Abdul can help us? Who is the one who sealed the heart of somebody from believing in Allah? I want an answer. Is it Shaitan or Allah? Any Muhammadan can tell me the answer. Who is the one who don't want people to believe in Allah? Is it Satan or Allah? Any Muhammadan? This is the book of God. The verse saying it clearly that the one who don't want anyone to believe in him is Allah. And the fact here in front of us is, is more than beyond the stupidity it says. Allah has. So who's, who's talking? Who's talking? Hey Muslims, who's talking? Allah has. Muhammad Hamadan, no way, it was self-defense. Listen to Christian Prince, their heart was sealed. What the what what this guy is talking about? This guy he took hashish. Abdul, those guys, their heart was sealed by who? Hmm? 
Their heart was sealed by who? Who who? I will give you 10 years to give me the answer. Even if I put the answer in the front of your eyes, you will not see it because you are a Muslim. Their heart is sealed from accepting Islam by who? <laughs> when I say this is the book of his stupidity, I have a million reasons to say so. And then, as long as Allah, he said, seal in their heart, and they will not believe. And Allah confirmed that in the verse before. So how late did they believe? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. And Abdul? Any Muhammadan? Maybe, maybe. See, it is you Muslims who brought us here. It is you Muslim who told us there's a miracle in this, in this chapter. And now we are in this chapter. And not only that, it says here, their heart have a disease and Allah will increase their disease. How stupid is that? How stupid to say so. You see, Jesus, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Allah is the devil. He came to make you sick. Any Muslim have a comment? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Again, Muhammadans, my, my Skype is open. Feel free to contact me and I will be happy to hear you. Can you zoom out? Okay, let us see. Is the text not showing clearly? Okay. You Christian have a predestination in your book. I ask you to refer to Roman 9, 15, 16. Just to show you how silly you are, Mr. King, because, you know, Christianity is not a verse, and a verse is not you who understand it, it's the believers. So when you talk about our belief, it is us who explain the belief, not you. When somebody comes to us and he quote a verse, I want, I want Christians and everybody, especially Christians, to remember that. Remember one thing, that from the beginning to the end, God's judgment on Adam because he broke his command. So if we have a predestiny, then why Adam is the original sinner? So whoever is trying to say to you stupid things, it's easy to debunk them. Even Jesus in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. He did not say to them it was a predestiny for them to do it. He says, forgive them. So the stupid you, when you come and you quote a verse, we laugh at you. Because the whole Bible confirm that from their fruits you shall know them. If the fruit is a predestiny, then there's no fruit anyway. The verse you quote for us is speaking that, well, don't think that because of what you do, the good you do, you are saved, but the mercy of God. And this is true because at the end of the day, we are sinners. This is not destiny. The mercy of God. From the mercy of God, he forgive us. Do you know, do you know what the word forgiveness you don't keep? You heard of the word forgiveness? So we commit sin and we did sin already. So no matter how good we did, already we commit crimes on what the verse they are saying. Well, if you think that you are saved because you are doing good, we did already many bad things, but the mercy of God is your salvation. So don't try to quote for us verses and you fabricate the mean of them. Do we have any Abdul? 
What about Calvinism? Well, who care about this Calvinism thing? Because simply, my friend, judgment day is judgment day. If God decides to punish you for some time or decide not to punish you, this is not my business. People who discuss those issues, I, I believe there are people who have nothing to do in life and they are they are trying to kill time. You know, like the philosophers in the, in the, in the Greek, in the, in, the, in the old days. They meet just to philosophy and talk about uh, how the, why the mosquito, is a mosquito guilty or not? They find any topic to talk about. So if God want to punish me for a day or a year, none of my business. Maybe God will not. Maybe he will. So why you want to be stupid and go and, you know, like, do you know what God will do really? Who, who is going to decide anyway? What we know that Jesus said, whoever believe in me and I will live. That's what Jesus said. I'm not going to go by somebody giving interpretation. We go by the word of God, not by the word of man. Man, he can say as he wish. So don't add things and don't be a philosopher. Philosophy has nothing to do with God. Philosophy is an art of playing with words to deceive and fool people. What if you are a person who thought, okay, uh, let us say you believe in something like Calvinism, whatever it is. And then it turned to be there's no such a thing. Are you supported now? What is this? There's things, there's things. It's not for you to decide. And as long as you know it's not for you to decide, it's going to be what it's going to be. So God is all merciful. We know that. We are sure from that. God is all justice. The rest we don't care for. So God will deal with me, base, and just. Our God is just. Their God is not. That was important for us. Do we have any Mohammedan? How we refute Muslims about Joshua? Well, you know, what, what the Muslims first have to do with Joshua? If the Muslims have to do anything with Joshua, then Joshua should be in their book. <laughs> Correct, guys? If a Muslim trying to quote a verse from Bible, then we should ask him, why it's not in a book? And if he's saying that God cannot do miracles, Again, he is being stupid. So, in the book of Joshua, it says that the sun still stood. Maybe it's physically, maybe it's metaphorically, but can God make the sun stood? Can he or he cannot? Muslims are hypocrites. Can God even make the sun stood as time in one place only without the whole universe? If you say he cannot, that means he cannot be God too. So when the Muslim they questions something in a book, they all will come. The answer is very simple. God is not, the Bible says nothing is impossible with God. But they are comparing, I have to go with them here. They are comparing to our powerful God, to their fufu God. Their God can do nothing. The Arab they keep asking Muhammad tens day and night, why? How come you don't have a miracle? So how come the God of Joshua he can do what he did and Muhammad he could not do anything? Muhammad is a children according to Muslim, they die and was he crying like a girl, and then Allah did not resurrect them. If he called Jesus, just one phone call to Jesus, he will resurrect them. So remember, when a Muslim he says to you, How did such a thing can happen? Say to him, why not? Isn't it? This is God. Don't you Muslims call God Almighty? So what I see sometimes that the Christians, you know, they don't think carefully of what is the question. The question itself is an insult to their God, not to our God, because they just admitted that their God cannot do what our God can do. So they are saying, how that can happen? <laughs> are, are you listening to my friend, the one who asked the question?
Uh, another Abdul saying, why God want to kill babies? Well, God, he made babies, he killed babies. Here we go. The answer is very simple. But you're stupid. God, he did the same. Isn't it your God, he sent the flood and killed, killed all the people of Noah? Isn't it your God, he sent the fire supposedly and he killed all the people of Lot? Muslims are hypocrite, coward liars. They contradict themselves in two seconds. Right? Uh, Mr. King saying, are you afraid to put the verses I mentioned on the screen? How do you know it wasn't Allah that gave people Jesus miracles? What verses you mentioned? I did not see them, Mr. King. Secondly, what is the proof? Well, you are the one who is making the claim, prove it. Do you see, guys, the stupidity? Can you imagine how stupid don't work as a lawyer if you have a degree in law because you will be the worst because you idiot when you go to the court and you make a claim it is you who should provide the proof not the other person jesus was 600 years before your allah and you came 600 years after saying the miracle of jesus from allah prove it go ahead and we can find out simply in a very easy way if muhammad can do what jesus can do that's mean the miracle of jesus from allah name for me one thing muhammad did is equal to jesus just one i just quote for you that your prophet according to you muslims he have children's die his children's his own children's was muhammad able to save his children's When Jesus here is red people from death after many days, is the guy is dead already and buried. Muhammad have his children in front of him. They are not buried yet. How come Allah could not help him? Muhammad himself, he died from poison, which a woman she bought from Home Depot, cheap one, like four dollars a box. Well, Roman have nothing to do with this. With, you, you see the stupidity? What does have to do with Jesus being making miracle from, from Allah or not? Are you mental? Are you mental? What Roman 9 have to do with that? It says, Moses, he said, I, I you know, I, I will be mercy, Scotting. I will be mercy to one I like, and I will not be mercy to the one I like. Sorry, I, I will be mercy. To, let me remember. I will be mercy to the one uh, 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 I like. I want, and I will be uh, let us say uh, more merciful, the one I wish. That is not upon the choice of a man. So what does have to do? Would you claim this guy is already he's, he have a mental issue? You just said that why you don't show the verses about Jesus, and then uh, uh, that he have miracle from God. And then you say to me, uh, uh, I ask you what verses you say is Romans. What the verses of Romans have to do with the miracles? Supposedly you are talking about predestiny, you donkey. By the way, don't feel me insulted when I call you donkey. I'm just giving you a rank. Here we go. Those are the verses you choose. Where is the predestiny? Do you see it? Stupid is amazing. Predestiny is somebody decide for you what you will do. Which means if I kill somebody tomorrow, it is predestiny for me to kill. It's not a choice. Obviously, you as a Muhammadan, you have no idea what predestiny means. What does this have to do with the predestiny? The only miracle your God he was able to do is deleting his own Quran. I never heard of a God. He made Quran and then he want to delete his own Quran.
Muslim told me if a homosexual did uh, uh, intercourse publicly, they will be punished. That is a lie, by the way, because according to the Quran, uh, according to the Quran, there is no punishment in the Quran for homosexuality if it's a man. There is a punishment only for females if they are lesbian. They will be jailed until they die. Never listen to Muslim when they say something. You know, this is a lie. Based on the Quran, the verses, you know, we can put them in the screen. If a female, she did that, two females. As you see in chapter 4, verse 15, if two females, they did that, regardless of what they do, it who care if it's a straight or, you know, uh, then we have to jail them in their houses until they die. But if there's two males, here the translation is false. And if two person among you commit sexual intercourse, punish them both. This is not about male and female. That's false because there's a different verse about, about that. This is about two men. If you change the translator, you will see amazingly the translation change. Let us change the translator. We just change the translator. We would not change the Quran. Do you see, guys? Do you see that? Do you see the, how they lie? In the previous translation, it says if two men and women between two brackets. Here, if two men. Do you see it? People, do you see it? We just changed the translator. We did not change the book. We just changed between two Muslim translator. One is saying. If two of you, and he put between two bracket, men and women, we change the translator, if two men of you, we heard them, we go to the interpretation, it says you beat them with sandals. Do we have any Abdul would like to call me? If you read my book, Sex and Allah, you will see all the reference showing you that all of Mecca, they, they were homosexual. Muhammad, his family, his uncles, all of them. And this is all written in their books. Nothing written by Jews, nothing written by Sabi, and nothing written by Christian, nothing written by Hindu. It is Muslim books. Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? May they, may they. Uh, open a challenge for the Abdul. Your God cannot do what our God can do. Why? Because your God is fake. And your God claiming that the miracle of Jesus is given to Jesus from him, that is laughable because how come he could not give it to Muhammad? And the Muslim, they say to us, oh, but the Prophet, he have miracles. Well, where we come from? And he says, the Quran itself is a miracle. Well, you know what? If the Quran is a miracle, then why the Quran is so stupid? And why the Quran saying, I refrain from giving miracles? <laughs> the Quran itself says, in chapter 17, verse number 59, I refrain from sending miracles. So if the verse itself is a miracle, how he refrain? Your God himself is a certified stupid then. Because when he gave this miracle, supposedly it's a miracle. I mean, when he wrote this verse, this is a miracle. So how he say we refrain from making miracle when he was making a miracle? Have you ever heard of a stupid God like this? So you must then you keep saying to us, the Quran is a miracle, the Quran is a miracle. And then Allah, he write in the Quran saying, we refrain from sending miracle, which means all the verses we sent was not a miracle. Including the one in front of you. This is what happened when your God is a dummy. All right. Uh, look, here we have a smart Muslim. I think this guy is the same person. He changed his name. He come back. 
Okay, no problem. You are welcome. Let us put you in the screen and make you famous. And girls will be in love with your intelligence now. Aisha. Christian Prince, imagine you are comparing Jesus to Muhammad. You think Jesus is God, and we think Muhammad is a prophet. You are comparing your God to our prophet. That alone means you are lost. You see how stupid you are? I never compare Muhammad to Jesus. I said, how come the God of Muhammad cannot give Muhammad what he gave to Jesus? And based on your logic, you just throw us two. Based on your logic, because you Muslims are comparing your God to our Jesus. Isn't it you Muslim you say our God is not a man? <laughs> When we compare, we are showing the differences between your stupid God and our wise Lord. When your stupid God, he ordered women to cover their ass just because a friend of Muhammad was watching Sauda doing poo-poo. Your God did not notice that he should make hijab until Umar ibn Khattab, he said to him, Allah, copy my words and make a hijab verse. If you don't believe me, let me show you the reference, here we go. Have you ever heard of a God? He copy his orders from the friend of the friend of the friend of the friend of Muhammad. Why Muslims they have a hijab verses? Omar. And not only that, Muslim they say who can make Quran like the Quran and then we'll find that Allah he take it from Umar as he said read carefully this is Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih al-Bukhari 402 and here Umar he says my Lord agree with me in three things have you ever heard of God he agree with the guy who is the friend of the friend of the friend of the friend of the Prophet and then what he do? He take his word as it is and he put it in the Quran. Read carefully. And then he says, and the Lord himself, he said the following verse. So the verse revealed as the same as I had said. Do you see it? The same what? The same I had said. And the Muhammad and they say to us, who can make Quran? It turned to be that Allah is telling the word of Umar ibn al-Khattab and the Quran is not the Quran of Allah, it's the Quran of Umar. Does it say that Allah, he sent the verses as I said? You Muslim, am I lying? Does it say, so Allah, he sent the verses the same as I said? Al-Bukhari is false. Okay, no problem. They can say Al-Bukhari is false. That means Islam is not preserved. Because Islam is not based on the Quran alone. This is how stupid this religion is. Who is the one who made the Quran? Omar ibn al-Khattab. Who else? The ant. The Muslim, they say, like yesterday, we have a Muslim, he called me. And I said, who is the one who made the Quran? He says, Allah. I said, who is the one who is talking here? He says, the ant. <laughs> I said, what does that mean? He said, Allah is quoting the ant. Have you ever heard of a God quoting the ant? Allah is quoting the ant. Watch the video yesterday, just yesterday. Allah is quoting. He's not quoting Shakespeare. He's not quoting uh, Aflaton. He's not quoting Einstein. He's quoting, quoting the ant. We have a God who caught the ant. Read it. Even the ants is making Quran. The chicken making Quran. Read it, read it and laugh. Chicken, birds, genie. I mean, what is that? Who is talking there? They say Allah. But, but, but this is the ant. Do you think she was a Muslim and a prophet of Allah? I think she was inspired. I will tell you why she was inspired. Because the end of the words, the end she said, it fit with the words before it. Look, 
يوزعون and then يشعرون look the ant she is making like a rabbi music with Allah they are together like you know like you know they just you know it, the ant she said that the ant she made the end word the same as the the one before it to make it like a rabbi music rap song what this is a rap ant this ant was making a rabbi music her name is ant she jumped in the pant of abdul anyone have you heard about tragedy happening in Pakistan? I heard, and I say to you, anyone who go to work there is a stupid, he deserve it. Why in the world anyone wanna work in a country is called Pakistan? This guy is from Sri Lanka, what he's going to do there? This is a great example for any fool of you who will go to a Muslim country to work. Die in your country, work, be homeless, and never go to Muslim country. Don't be stupid. Don't go and work in Saudi Arabia. Don't go work in Imara. Those countries have nothing to do with the human right. Those are the perverted leaders, perverted culture, perverted religion. So don't expect that you will live between civil people. Their God is Muhammad. The beast. This is the land of the beast. So when you're stupid of you, decide to go and work in a Muslim country. Don't complain for what will happen to you. You deserve it. You choose. You pull the ticket. You bought the ticket by your hand. You float. You took an airplane to go there. That's mean you are a certified donkey. I will be homeless in any land and I will never go to a Muslim land. Why do you want to do that? And then we complain. Here we go. They burned the guy. And I assure you the guy did not do anything wrong. Anyone accuse him of something because he is a Christian. I don't know if he's a Christian or a Hindu, I'm not sure. He's not a Muslim. So they, they want to get rid of him. They accuse him. They can accuse you of anything because you're not from them. Accuse you, insulted the prophet. People, they come like, like, like you know, savage, filthy. Don't go to those countries. Number one country in the world searching for porn. Go check Google. Pornistan. This is not Pakistan. This is Pornistan. You go there, you deserve it. You ask for it. Ant can't speak Arabic. Hey, yeah, this is another question too. Hey, Muslims, the ant was speaking to Suleiman in Arabic, or uh, Suleiman is uh, no, the ant she was speaking her language. So how the how did how translation happen? By the way, ants don't talk. See, the Quran says that Suleiman he heard her speech. Do you see the stupidity? Go search, you will find that ants, they communicate either by chemical or vibration. There's no speech. There's no speech. So we can say they talk, but not like us. They don't talk by words or letters. They either vibrate, they look at each other, buddy, you know, or by chemical. They are deaf. It says here, he smiled at her speech. This is a book of God. This is the book, it's preserved. My friend, he was a Buddhist or not. This is this is a great lesson to any one of you not to go and work in Islamic countries. So, is it this is the first time they do that? Why people are stupid? So just to get a better job, you risk your life. Why do you want to do that? Don't you know that those are evil countries? Didn't this guy see what they did to a girl in the park just a few few months ago and they strip her from her clothes? Just because she is making video for YouTube, and thousands of Muslims chase her, take off her clothes. Isn't them last year they throw a guy from the top of the high building after they killed him? Why you wanna go to a Muslim country?
So somebody saying in your book a donkey talk Twitter do you like to call me so we can laugh together at my book uh, where the donkey talk you are a stupid idiot in my book it says so God he opened the mouth of the donkey which means it is not the donkey talking God he made the donkey or the sound coming from the mouth of the donkey God opened the mouth of the donkey but it's not the donkey talking However, I have your prophet asking his donkey Yafur if he likes females. In your book, the donkey literally was talking and your prophet asked him if he liked females and your prophet, when he insists, the donkey, he was upset and he said to him, I don't like females because he's a gay. Have you ever heard of a donkey and he's a gay? I have a cartoon about it with the reference from Ibn Kathir. And the donkey of your prophet, his name is Yafur. And not only that, when the Prophet of Allah died, the donkey was the first person to commit suicide. Go check the reference. He felt so sad and he decided to kill himself. I have a cartoon about it. You can search it on YouTube. Sunni book is not your book? Are you a Shia? In your, in your, in your book, Shia is, is more stupid. According to you, Shia, the, the, the watermelon takes Shahada. If the watermelon is uh, uh, sweet, she is Shia. If she is not a sweet, she is Sunni. Do you want me to show your books? According to your Shia books, if you are wearing black shoes, your penis will never work. You have to work yellow, you have to to have a, 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 a yellow shoes. According to your Imam the Shia, the highest Imam, the son of Muhammad, supposedly, if you look at your wife Anus, your son will come, will be born mute. Do you want me to show you reference? Do you like to call me and we can read together? Did you look at your wife Anus before? Supposed to, he is not a Sunni, you know, see, like he's better, you know. How many languages your Imam al Hussein he speak? 70 million languages? 70 million, are you sure not 69? Only 70 million? I mean, this is not much. I am not a Sunni, I am a Shia. You are the most dumb, the same as the Sunni. If I open your books, people will die laughing. According to the Shia, all Muslim Sunni are homosexual. Why? Because when they are born, because of a Shia, Shaitan, he put his finger in their anus. I even can find you the video right now in YouTube. This is your shade teaching in YouTube. Like suppose he is a Shia, he is a smarter. Let me actually, let me find the video, hold on. You ask for it, have fun. Oh, hold on! I found a new, I, I found a new, uh, a new uh, video. Why the the White House is called the White House? Let's see this one. This is a new one. I did not see this one. I don't know where this is coming. الآن هذه الظاهرة موجودة. Okay. والخطيب الذي يريد طريقا سريعا لل للشهرة ولذياع الصيت يستخدم هذا الأسلوب أنه يأتي على من بره بأعجيب وحكاية غرائب وكذا. وما أدري تدرون ليش سموا البيت الأبيض بيت أبيض؟ آه. تتحملون لو ما تتحملون؟ It's supposed he's making fun of the Sunni. Do you know why the White House was called the White House? Okay, tell us. إذا تتحملون أقول لكم. If you can handle it, I will tell you. إذا ما تتحملون. If you cannot handle it, I will not tell you. ما أقول لكم. هذه طبعاً. 
اوكي انت لو طبعا هذا شوف هذه المقدمه ماكو هذه ضروريه حتى اللي نايم يقوم اوكي تيل اس واي ذا وايت هاوس از كولد ذا وايت هاوس يو نو جيف اس ذا انسر شنو ينتبه اللي ما ادري كذا هذه لازم هل المقدمه مهمه اها فهذه اعجوبه والله شلون كانت غايبه عن ذهن ان هي سين هاو ذيس از ذيس از ان ميراكل هاو كان وي نوت فايند اوت اباوت ات انتل ناو هو يابا سموا البيت الابيض عناد على الله ذي كول ات ذا وايت هاوس ان ذا اوبوزيشن اوف الله This is the reason the American they call the White House just to, to oppose Allah. Why? How is that? ليش؟ Why? لأنه إحنا عندنا البيت الأسود. Because we have the Black House. So they decide to call the House of Trump the White House. <laughs> Muslims, <laughs> you know, Muslims. The religion of conspiracy. So the White House was called White House because they are opposing Allah because Allah his house is black true story let us see if we can find the one uh, I don't know which one is the one which uh, about about uh, the Sunni are homosexual And Allah, He places His finger in. Uh, sorry, Shaitan, He places His finger in the anus. I made a video about it actually before. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> let us see this one. I'm trying to find which video I know. Uh, this one is not. Maybe this one. I mean, I wish you guys would speak Arabic. You would die laughing. All the videos, especially Shia videos, is more like more really, more weird. Okay, but I know I need to find it. Anyway, <clears throat> do we have any Muhammadan wanna call us? Who is a Muhammadan? He believe really he have a true God and true religion. Who is a Muhammadan? He think his religion is a true religion. Hmm? Is the West that has Lakbat priest, Ikbat? What Ikbat priest mean? I don't know. Leave in your church. Stop projecting. We have none. In your our deen. Well, first of all, you stupid Abdul. The first one, Muhammad, he taught him it was a priest. Let us get you busted. Here we go. Let's put it in the screen. I don't know if you are a Muslim, really. I think are you are you making fun of your religion? If you are a truly Muslim, I don't know what you are saying. It's like you are trying to help me somehow to expose Islam. Isn't it the first one who told your prophet that he is a prophet, is a priest, king? I want the answer from you. What do you think, guys? Is it true that the first one he told Muhammad that he is a prophet? Muhammad do not know. Muhammad is a stupid fool. He have no idea. He do not know how to read, how do not know how to write. Even he do not know how to clean his ass. I'm waiting for your answer. Is it true that when your prophet happened to become a prophet, still he do not know? A priest told him, oh, you become a prophet, Muhammad. Are you there? And not only that, when the priest died, Muhammad tried to commit suicide. Was the priest leading Muhammad? Obviously, yes. Potato. Potato, 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 pot
to run to them the skin I like to them one in and now not a Muhammad not only you know he was uh, supposed to enter the control of a priest the man he was desperate to the point he died Uh, Twitter, I don't have time for a stupid talk. You want to you prove me? Okay, Twitter. As long as your name is Twitter, you can uh, tweet, right? So, do you like to call me? And I will show you the, the Shia books. So, don't post this again. Otherwise, I will, I will block you. Don't be stupid, silly. It takes us a second to open your books. Nothing more. So, either you are a man or you are a Twitter. Are you a man or a Twitter? I guess you are a Twitter. You never been a man, like your prophet. Your prophet he pissed like a woman. Why? Because obviously he don't have anything to push the water far away. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me why he pissed sitting always. He never pisses standing. Actually, he pisses standing once. Because he was afraid from the scorpion. Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan, open a challenge. You know, you see, we have a lot of people here. And uh, do you know how many languages translate my videos? So imagine the opportunity you get as a Muhammadan when you talk to us here and you prove us wrong. You can even download my videos and put it in your channel. You can show your mom and your dad, look what I did to Christian Prince. You will be proud and they will be proud about you. Was Bachabazi boys come from Islamic tradition? Well, do anyone have it except the Muslims? You tell me. Any Abdul? By the way, if you call me and debate me, can you imagine what Allah will do to you? How much reward he will give you? According to Muhammad, there's 100 floor of heaven. And not only that, one of the funny, not nice things, not funny, beautiful things actually, Alhamdulillah, that the heaven of Allah, uh, I forget about the Nagla Seed here, look at Nagla Seed. I opened this page here in front of me, Allah, Prophet, he discovered, Allah told him that the Nagla Seed is a cure for anything. Anyone have a problem with you? You have a heart problem? Take Nagla Seed. You have corona? Take necrosine. You are dying? Take necrosine. You have heart attack? Take necrosine. Necrosine can so Okay, you don't have money in the bank? Take necrosine. Necrosine is the cure for anything except death. I mean, the stupidity. Any, every illness except death is death is an illness. The stupid Muhammad, he heard that the, the they know that the Persian they use the necrosine in their medicine. Hey, as usual, he stuck with something. When some sometimes he stuck with the honey, sometimes he stuck with the camera urine, sometimes he stuck with the negla seed, sometimes he stuck with the uh, 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 ajwa. You know, uh, just to show you one of the stupid things Muhammad he said. If you eat seven ajwa a day. No magic can affect you and no poison can kill you. And the funny is that Muhammad, he was infected by both. I mean, is that funny? Muhammad, according to Muslims, he was, he was bewitched and he died by poison. So what is your medicine, Muhammad? Did not even work with you. Or did you stop eating seven ajwa, Muhammad? Hey, by the way, when Muhammad was dying, why he did not take Najla seed? Do you think he forgot? Hmm? And what is, by the way, I went to Home Depot trying to find what poison this woman she, she bought. I could not really find the, the poison. I mean, because it was so cheap, it was for rats. Because I bought I bought this um, poison for rats from Home Depot. It did not kill even the rats, you know? I mean, I don't have any rats at home. 
but uh, like in the you know those are uh, uh, friendly right they call them uh, what they call them uh, uh, kafar rat you know anyway so I put for them you know they were eating it and they are like mm, and they are laughing at me like what the heck so I want to know what kind of a cheap poison she bought from Home Depot at that time for a few dollars and killed the Prophet which is protected by Allah why Allah saved Jesus from the Jews he could not save Muhammad from the Jews that is a good topic what do you think people why Allah he saved Jesus from the Jews because here Muhammad was killed by Jews so why Allah he saved Jesus from the Jews but he don't want to save Muhammad any Muhammadan anyone isn't you Muslim you say that Jesus Allah he saved him from the cross okay the Jews want to kill him Allah he saved him that's good that's good thank you Allah thank you Allah how come you did not save Muhammad Christian Prince first of all Allah he did not to the Jesus because Jesus he did not complete the work yet Prophet of Islam he completed the work what complete the work he complete nothing what are you talking about first of all the Prophet of Islam, he has 13 wives, and that complete the business. Anyone he has 13 wives, he will wish to die. Me myself, if I have 13 wives, I will kill myself. Is that Karnak? I know you. Are you saying that Muhammad he killed himself by the poison? Prince of Prince, I do not say that. I'm saying if you have 13 wives, you will kill yourself. So the Prophet he was very happy to die. Oh, okay. I was wondering. I mean, why Allah, he let him die because of a poison. But don't you think it's really harsh death? The guy was suffering. It says like here, I feel still feel the pain caused by the food. I ate a khaybar. Christian Prince, what different going to make? If Allah, Prophet, he said, the pain I feel from khaybar or the pain I have because of my wife. Both of them, they call pain. Another example, imagine you have 13 mother-in-law. How much pain you will have? Is that correct? That's make a point here, actually. 13 mother-in-law, how much pain that will cause? That's a lot. Exactly, and you are stupid. And don't call me again. I did not call you. It's you who jump in the middle of the conversation from the middle of nowhere because Allah has fired me. And I'm not taking the prophet. And I'm going to defend the prophet. And I'm going to like, okay, as a, as a connect, I have no idea what you are saying, but thank you for calling us. Uh, but hold on, it says here that this has cut my artery. And the Quran says, if Muhammad is lying, Allah will cut his artery. Christian Prince, Allah did not cut his artery, the poison cut his artery. Yeah, but he says if he is lying, Allah will cut his artery. So obviously, both lead that his artery being cut because he's lying, fabricating Quran. Christian Prince, this is not complete, and this is not true, and this is the father creating. First of all, the women he went to Home Depot, as he said. So the women he are not buying the, the weapon from Allah, and the Allah not of the women. The women did not buy the Zakir Naik, easy man. I don't understand a word from what you are saying, easy. You said, and everybody heard you. It's recorded that the women who killed him, he bought the weapon from Home Depot. Yeah, she bought the uh, was from Home Depot. First of all, Christian Prince, you are a liar. At that time, there's no Home Depot. Eh? Are you sure? I swear by Allah, I tell you. Yeah, well, that's bad then. I was telling people Home Depot all this time. Um, Christian Prince, who is in the one who wants to believe you? Home Depot, no Home Depot. And now everybody can go on the internet and can take. And you will find that no Home Depot. Well, I don't know, Zach and Nick. I made a mistake. I think it was not Home Depot. I think it was Ace. Okay? Christian Prince, there's no Ace at that time, too. It's something else, you are stupid. There's no Ace Ventura, too? Christian Prince, you are stupid. Okay, Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> By the way, do you believe it that Muslims, they made a video? Saying that the Christian prince lying that Zach and Nick is calling him those stupid people they thought this is really Zach and Nick. <laughs> and not only that, they are saying this is not Zach and Nick, brother. They do not oh, no, it's me. They say this is not Zach and Nick. He sounds like Zach and Nick, but this is not Zach and Nick. I'm unbelievable how stupid they are. Yeah. They are arguing about it. Say, brother, this is yeah, sound is like, but he's not Zach and Nick. Maybe uh, Christian Prince, he paid him somebody, you know? Unbelievable. Stupidity is amazing. Like, is that Zach and Naik? This is not Zach and Naik. Is that Zach and Naik? I look at the Prophet, I look at the moon. I look at the Prophet, I look at the moon. I look at the Prophet. 
Okay, keep going. All right. So any Muslim can help us why Allah did not save Muhammad, but he saved Jesus. Hmm? I think Muhammad didn't have an idea. Mayday, mayday. We are looking for a caller. <clears throat> hmm? Any Muhammadan would like to call us live on air? Anyone? Think about it. First of all, if you are a Muslim, Allah will take your side. And if Allah is God, he will make you win for sure. What say you? Hmm? Anyone? Are you worried that Allah will not say, take your side? <clears throat> Hello? Twitter, the website answering Christianity answered that Allah saved Prophet from the poison. He died three years after, not by poison. You know, Twitter, I don't know. This answering Christianity is a donkey, the owner. He is the one who said to me, there's no black magic when the Quran says there is a black magic. And everybody laughed at him. But look what you just said. If you follow what this stupid saying, that's mean your prophet is not a prophet again. Because if your prophet saying I die because of the poison, and then your website saying he did not die because of poison, that's mean your prophet is a certified donkey. He do not know what he is dying from. Thank you for saying that. Do you see how easy they defeat their prophet? Their prophet says, I die because of poison. The Muslim, they say he did not die because of poison. So they are saying the prophet wasn't the prophet. He prophesied about what things will happen in the future. He did not even know what's happening to him. This is how, how, this is how they insult their prophet. You know, they have a low IQ. They don't know what they are saying. They are desperate to find any answer. Actually, this guy answering uh, uh, Islam, Osama Abdullah, he made a video to refute me. Let me see if I can find it, just for a joke. He met with six, seven Muslims, and they made a video respond to Christian Prince. I'll try to find the video. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hmm. It's not easy to find it. Hmm. I forgot what the title was, but maybe we can find it. Maybe I'm typing the wrong wrong. Is it Osama with you or? Um, let us see, refutation maybe. You will see how stupid when they try to refute.
There we go. We found it. Okay. It was very, very little. Okay. And, and the dry seasons, in dry seasons, it would... I said the water was scarce. Okay. It was very, very little. Okay. And, and the dry seasons, in dry seasons, it would be very difficult to find it. Okay. And second, uh, about me claiming that I'm a scholar... Well, actually, I never claimed that. In fact, if you listen to the very beginning of the debate, uh, he said that I claim I'm a scholar, and I responded to him by saying, I am not a scholar. I never claim to be a scholar, but rather I am a truth seeker. Okay, I'm always learning, and I am never claim to be a You know, when you see a Muslim making tons, tons, tons of videos to refute me, but they don't dare to call me, that is a clear sign of a defeat. You know, as long as the debate was so good, why do you need to make videos to explain what happened in the debate? You know what I mean? Where have you been in the debate anyway? I mean, if you can answer me, you answer me in the debate, not 10, not 10, 10, oh, 10 years after. So this guy, uh, I, 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 this is not the whole videos, I think. Yeah, somebody cut it off. I want to see. I think he cut the, the bad part. Uh, in, uh, in Mecca and throughout this whole region, because it's all desert in the Middle East. Yeah, it says here part two. So it looks like there's a part one. Let us see. Uh, Part two. <laughs> Let us see. Maybe this is part six. What is that? Part five. We went the original video, so we can laugh. Anyway, they admit that their prophet was filthy and he is full of lies. The first time this guy, he come to me, he says to me, Christian Prince, do you know that Christian people are filthy? They don't clean themselves. They are full of lies. So I said, so you are saying the one who have lies is filthy? He said, yes. I said, so your prophet was filthy then. He was full of lies. The second he said that to him, he says, you're a liar, it's not true. And the second I showed him, he said, at that time, uh, lies was very normal for everybody. Oh. Let us see. And I know, I'm trying just to find it. Hmm. Sometimes you can find those things easy. Sometimes it, you know, you need to find the exact. Uh... The exact verses. The exact name, actually, title, I mean. <clears throat> uh, part one, maybe this one, let's see, maybe this part one. We will hear an audio rebuttal uh -huh, to some of the lies uh -huh. that Christian Prince raised against Islam during my debate with him, okay. which consists of the following seven points. Mm -hmm. uh, the first point, was the body of the water really a well or was it a stream of water? Mm -hmm. Point number two, ample uh, provided ample scientific quotes from the United States government's Department of Energy mm -hmm and wikipedia.org uh, website, which is a scientific website, uh -huh. proving that soil filters water from bacteria and microbes. Uh -huh. I provided that with ample scientific quotes. Yeah. Uh, point number three, the Islamic standards, I've demonstrated the Islamic standards on cleanliness of water. Uh, if the smell, taste, and color of the water aren't, uh, are not altered, then the water remains pure. I have uh, also proven that the water that the Prophet of Islam drank fit uh, those standards. Uh, point number four, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was clean and even cleaned the lice from himself. <laughs> Did you hear it, Muslims? The Prophet was clean and even he cleaned the lice from himself. <laughs> Supposedly, this is 
after studying the case. He's refuting me, proving that prophet was clean. The prophet was clean and even he cleaned the lies from himself. Do you see how clean he is? And he provides scientific evidence. Well, the hadith says that this is a stinky water. Even it says the color changed. And it says, well, he said, this is not well, this is a stream of water. <laughs> this is a well. <laughs> and the well is, is obviously, you know, the, the, the water in the well is not really from, it's not really even a well. It's like a, it's like a jacuzzi. It's a dirty water. So maybe in the old days, it used to be a well, like in a low spot in the ground. But obviously, the, this is the sewage. But the funny is that they met together, five or six Muslims, and they come with the conclusion to prove me wrong about their prophet being clean. The prophet is clean and he clean himself from lice. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was clean and even cleaned the lice from himself. See? Uh, point number five, I've exposed Christian Prince's lies on the water of Zemzem, uh -huh. for it is only a small stream of water and not a large one, mm -hmm. as uh, Christian Prince lied. Hmm. Uh, the Saudi Arabian uh, government today provides water to its people, uh, uh, whether the two million people who currently live in Mecca and Medina, according, this number according to him. Yeah, Allah cannot provide water to the people of Mecca, so Allah, you know, his miracle is not working. So what happened? The Saudi government, they bring water, so people of Mecca, they will not die. <laughs> I don't know if this number is true or not, but anyway, it provides the water, the fresh drinkable water to them from uh, the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. Basically, they have uh, special uh, processing plants that uh, take water from the sea and uh, filter uh, and, and clean out the salt, process the water, and turn it into clean and drinkable water. Uh, this is where the Meccans of today get their water. The stream of Zamzam is not big enough to take care of all of them. Uh, point number six, exposing Christian princes' lies on the bewitchment of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, I've also demonstrated how Jesus suffered, quote, suffered, suffered, end quote, and had evil desires. He's quoting, by the way. This is quote. Suffer and quote. Listen, listen. Suffer and quote, and he suffer and quote, evil desire. The Bible says, suffer and evil desire. <laughs> Sons of Muta. That's according to his... New Testament hmm. in him during his 40 days of temptation from Satan hmm. the temptation was so bad uh -huh. and so heavy on Jesus that angels had to quote attend him uh -huh. to help him from the quote suffering and quote evil desires they quote evil desire you Muslim anyone can show me where it says he is it was suffering from evil desire and they do a bunch of son of Muta. Quote, huh? Why you don't quote the verse? Anyway, continue. Show we can love. End quote. There's no video to show you. There's nothing. It's just a, it's just an audio. That he had uh, from Satan. Um, you know, Jesus was losing his mind, according to the Bible, yeah, and, and he, was he needed the angels to attend him mm -hmm. uh, to end the suffering and the evil desires that he had from Satan exactly. for 40 days. Mm -hmm. So I've exposed Christian Prince on that, and I've demonstrated that. He could not expose me on that when he was talking to me, this potato. He exposed me by making a video later. All those who make videos later, obviously they could not do good when they were talking to me. Where you been? When I give you two hours, three hours talking to you, you made, I made you shish kebab. That from the Bible's New Testament. And point, and point number seven, uh, Jesus and Paul did not care at all about body cleanliness mm -hmm. and they even allowed their followers to eat dead and rotten animals. Jesus and his followers, they eat dead and rotten animals. True. Okay. I've also demonstrated, demonstrated that thoroughly uh -huh. from the New Testament. Right. Hmm. From the commentary right now, okay, just to prove that you are a liar again once more. Okay, here we go. Let me uh, do it. The uh, the water, the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him, was doing ablution, wudu, from from the water. Okay, because the Prophet was not saying that uh, it's okay to drink from the water. The Prophet was saying the the Prophet the Prophet was not drinking from the water. He was doing ablution from the water. Mm. Uh huh. 
Yeah, this is actually not the original video. I don't know. I could not find the original video. The original video is more funny. They they, they cut and add things. Um, hey Muslims, your prophet was doing evolution from the will of Bidra, where garbage was thrown on. Was he drinking or not? Hmm? Any Muslim? That is that fixed the problem? If he wasn't drinking, he was just jumping in water, have dead dogs, and win blood from period. And this potato, he says that he provide from the government of USA website that the the ground will filter the water, but this is not a water coming from the ground. Even here it says the water color changed. Do you see it? And I saw the color of the water in this well had changed. Do you see it? Hmm. Your corrupt book says Jesus Jews are prophet killers. Look, your Jesus God failed to protect the prophets. Uh, that's very stupid of you to say so. Uh, I will go with your logic just for a second and I will ban you after that Twitter because I don't have time for kids I think you're you're you're, you're uh, retarded you're just trolling here <clears throat> your corrupt book says the Jews are prophet killers between two bracket look why your Jesus God failed to protect his prophets? Well, as you see, my God never failed because my Jesus is alive. And death will not affect them. Even the Bible says when Jesus resurrected, he was resurrected to heaven, he took all the saints, the dead saints, with him. So how you can be victorious more than that? However, idiot, it's your Quran says that the Jews killed prophets. So how come your God could not protect them? Here we go. You are stupid like your prophet. Chapter 5, verse number 17. So I can give you the question now. How come your stupid God could not protect the prophets of God? Do you see it? Do you see it, Abdul? You said your corrupt book, your God could not protect his prophets. You said that, not me. Which means if this God have such a story in his book, that means this book is corrupt and or this God, he is not true God. This is your logic, I'm using it. Isn't it this is you who said that? Your corrupt book says Jews are prophet killers. Why your Jesus God failed to protect his prophets? Here we go. You are just a monkey. This is why none of you dare to call me because I can whip the floor with your nose in two seconds. Any Abdul? Any half Abdul, as long as there's no Abdul. And by the way, this verse presents big problem. Do you know why? Ask any Muslim now to tell us what is the name of the Prophet the Jews they killed. Hey Muslim, can you tell us the name of the Prophet the Jews killed? If Asa wasn't killed, who is the Jews they killed? Because it did not say, you try to slay. Some they kill, not even one. Some they kill, some they accuse them to be liars. Who is the Muslim can help us to give us the names of the some Jews, prophet of the Jews, who were killed by the Jews? Anyone? 
who is a Muslim can help us to tell us in your Quran it says that the Jews they killed prophets many prophets as you see some some it's not one not two some have to be three and more what is the names of those prophets who have been killed by the Jews and in Muhammadan and as long as the Jews they can kill prophets how come they could not kill Jesus and in Muhammadan And why Allah did not save those prophets, but he saved Jesus. And as you see here, Muhammad himself, he was killed by the Jews. A woman she bought. I'm, I'm not going to use the word Home Depot because Zachary and I got me busted with that. I will say Walmart now, okay? So, you know, uh, the woman she bought poison from Walmart for three dollars, maybe two, maybe 99 cents, you never know, from dollar store, maybe from dollar store, okay? Chinese product, you know? She go to that actually anywhere it's just Chinese anyway. So you go to the dollar store, you buy a poison for rat for 99 cents. She put it in the foot of Muhammad, Muhammad, uh, you know, and then yeah. And then when the Muslim they says Allah saved him, that's very funny to be saved for four years under pain, a horrible pain. You know, when Muhammad he ate the poison, uh, the Muslims they made a hole in his neck. So they bleed him out. They bleed him out. And uh, this is why the story, it says that a, a person, he drank the blood of Muhammad. Can you believe it, how savage they are? They drank not only, like I understand they suck the blood from his neck, so he will not die. Uh, why, why would we worry about uh, him to die anyway? He will not die, you know. Well, isn't Allah will protect him? Uh, yeah, answer your question, get lost, get out of here. My, my Lord, he will not protect the prophets for a very simple reason, because if Jesus himself was killed, your donkey, so why he will protect the prophets from being killed? You are a certified idiot. This is the king of the kings. Himself is on the cross. So prophets are not better. You are just an idiot. Any Abdul? Everything in the Quran is a copy from somewhere else. And the verse before it says, those who believe in the Quran and those who they are Jews and Christians, they go to heaven. Stupid religion. Look at this donkey. Uh, yeah, you can call me now if you want. Al Arifa. You can call and you can be the translator. Even though I don't like this translating thing, but you know, it's okay. As long as we don't have customers. Text me in Skype and call. Be sure that your friend is, you know, he joined the conversation. Just be sure you give an accurate translation for both sides. And by the way, Sabian are people who worship stars. So how Sabian they will go to heaven? At that moment, Muhammad, the perverted man, he is trying to make anyone accept him. If Muhammad, you know, if, if Muhammad is exist today, he will say the Mormon will go to heaven, Job Buddhist will go to heaven, uh, uh, the Satan worshiper will go to heaven, everybody will go to heaven. Just accept that I am a prophet. Any Abdul? If the one is challenging the Muhammadan to call is an American who knows nothing about Islam, you will see the Muslims calling that crazy. Here we have to beg for one. May they, may they. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us? Anyone? Yesterday it was more fun. We have some callers, and one of them, his name is Jihad. He said, "Christian Prince, you keep repeating the same thing. You say nothing new." So I said, "Okay, this thing I just said in the screen. Have you heard it before?" He said, "No." 
So what about last time? Each time this donkey, he called me, he said to me, I never heard this before. And yet he said to me, you are repeating the same thing. <laughs> this is the same guy. When we ask him why Allah he made a surgery for Muhammad, he says he find that he found that Muhammad need adjustment. <laughs> the same guy, remember? Jihad. When we show him the hadith about the plastic surgery for the chest of Muhammad, where they installed a dish of wisdom in his chest, he said Allah decided to do it just you know adjustment. Oh, okay. That's that's nice. I mean, this is the only prophet ever who his God, he found that he is so stupid to the point we need to do a plastic surgery and install a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith in his uh, <coughs> in his nerves, in his uh, uh, veins, sorry, uh, yeah, in, in, in the blood. Uh, here we go, this is the, this is the hadith. Have you ever heard of a God who need to do plastic surgery to his prophet because he's so stupid? And imagine Muhammad, this is Muhammad who told the story after the surgery, and the story is so stupid. So how Muhammad was stupid before the surgery? How stupid he was? If this is a story been told after he had the surgery? Look what it says here. So Jibreel, brother, he cut open his body between his throat, not middle of his chest, it says to his testicles. And uh, it depends on the hadith for sure. And he took all the material out the brother of his chest material. What is there? Any Muslim can tell us what is the materials? They took the material out of his chest. Ah, material. Uh -huh. Plastic, you know, global warming, you know, plastic, uh, garbage bags. You know, Muhammad was a goat, he swallowed everything. Okay, so they took the material out of his chest and abandoned and washed it with zam zam water with his own hands till he cleansed inside his body. Oh, must be a true story. I'm really impressed. Okay, and then a gold tray containing gold bowl you know what i'm glad he stopped here imagine if you say golden box containing gold uh, 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 another golden box contain another golden box contain another golden bowl contain another golden dish contain another golden golden spoon contain other what the heck is that golden inside okay full of belief have you ever heard of a dishes full of belief This is the religion of God. Your God, he installed a dish, a box, inside that golden tray. There is a golden go a bowl, full of belief. I wanna take a picture of that belief. Hey, Muslim belief, how Muslim belief look like in the dish? Any Muslim can tell me how Islamic belief look in a dish? How, what is that? What is the size of this dish? I'm assuming it's really big. I mean, come on. Muhammad inside is so empty. Muslims, your God, he installed a dish of faith in your prophet? And then the story continue. And wisdom. Wow. Not only dish of faith, dish of wisdom. I mean, come on, you have to make salad here. We have a salad dish, some faith, some wisdom will make it yummy. And then this jihad, he says, well, Allah, he was doing adjustment to the prophet. And he said, actually, if I remember, he said he was, you know, like making him have better IQ. <clears throat> what you distinguish to take but what's make uh, literally okay a metaphor in Islamic doctrine my pastor said we should respect their argument well your pastor is a donkey my friend 
your pastor is not a pastor because anyone who respect the teaching of the devil he is no Christian isn't it Jesus says who is the Antichrist is the one who deny the father and the son so how your pastor says we have to respect your argument what kind of pastor is that if you see your pastor next time tell him Christian Prince he say to you special messages you are certified donkey and you are no Christian anyone he compromise he is perfectly correct is not a Christian period especially if he is a priest or a minister he is satanic the Bible is so clear Jesus he said to the Jews those are Jews those are not Hindus those are not Buddhas those are not Muslims those are Jews even the rabbis he said to them if you are if your father Abraham you do the work of your father Abraham Even he called them son of serpent. Evil generation. So who is the stupid pastor? Don't even call him such a title. He is a deceiver. Coward. So respect their argument, which means insulting the Holy Spirit insulting Jesus accusing Jesus of false things is that what Christianity teach us anyone who teach you such a thing he is a coward and he is no Christian and he will pay in the judgment day in the front of the Lord for what he said to you and advise you to leave his church not to go there. Tell everybody this guy is a coward, he's a liar. He said we should respect the Muslim argument, which means the Muslim, they can say that Jesus' mother, Mary, she is going to be a sex toy for Muhammad. That we should respect. We should respect that the Christians, all of them, they are liars and they are enemies, as the Quran calls us. We should respect that Muhammad, he says, kill the Christian, kill the Jews. We should respect that. We should respect that Muhammad, he ordered them to rape our women. We should respect that. We should honor it. Muhammad says beat women. We should respect that. What a bunch of cowards those people are. Never listen to those garbage people. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Carlos is asking a question. Where is the Pharisees? Does it say Messiahs would be called the Nazarene? Uh, first of all, you know the silly, the silly you, Car Carlos. Uh, uh, when you ask a question, obviously the question is not a question to ask. It's just to make fun. When the Bible is written, the Bible did not write every single thing. As an example, does the Bible say as much about Jesus since he was a child until he became 30, 33? So there is a huge, long, many years. That part is not written. So if there is something is not written, doesn't mean it is not there. So you are a certified donkey again. 30 years of the life of Jesus is not there. And that for a reason. Because the disciples, when they wrote, they wrote what Jesus did within the time they were accompanying him and that is the important the time of really when when did it say the time of jesus to announce himself but we know that there's 30 years jesus is talking still is that correct christians and people are talking about jesus still right so 30 years of people speaking and Jesus is speaking and it's not there and it's not written for a reason because it wasn't important what is important is what Jesus did for us and what he came for otherwise if they are right every everything happened in 30 years we will have a books in the higher than sixth floor building It's like asking me, 
uh, when the book of Genesis speak about uh, the creation of the earth and the heaven, should God write how he created a mosquito? That alone maybe will be 70, 80 books. Just a mosquito alone. Very complicated creature, even though it's very small. <clears throat> a Muslim says, if you read the Quran alone, you will get astray. Well, if we read the Quran alone and we read the Hadith with it, we will get more astray. As you see, who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? Golden ball and golden belief put in, installed in the chest of the Prophet. Here we go. We are not reading the Quran alone. We are reading the Hadith. Uh, Abdullah said, the one who lost his teeth, he's saying, that my Allah, he said, Muhammad PBUH is top five prophet. So mocking my prophet, you're only mocking, uh, making your punishment in hell uh, more severe. Well, Abdullah, as I know, it's your prophet who was punished. Because as you see, when your prophet says he died because of poison and the poison cut his artery, and then we find that the Quran said, that if Muhammad is a fabricator for the word of God, then I will cut his artery. So who is the one who is punished? You tell me. The Quran warned that if the Christian don't believe in Muhammad, Allah will erase their faces. They will erase their eyes and eyebrows and noses. So we will be weird. We will look weird. As I see that this has never happened. And this is supposed to happen in the time of Muhammad. So your God, Allah warning, is a joke. I will give you another example. Allah, your God, he cursed the Jews, but they are the most rich people, successful people, intelligent people. So if the curse will make the Jews who they are today, I wonder what success is. All of you Muslims are signing agreement now to buy weapons of the Jews. Emirat, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, even you are buying their softwares to spy at each other. Those are the cursed Jews. So if the cursed one is the most rich, rich and, you know, worthy and smart and powerful, who is the one is lucky then? Please ask your God Allah to make me cursed like the Jews because I want to change my car. Can you talk to your God Allah to curse me so I can get a new car? Please call Allah. All right, because obviously Allah, he knows best and he can curse you and that will fix your problems. Did Allah bless the Muslims? If he does, why the Muslims are running from their countries? Do we have any Muhammadan? My Skype is open, zero Muslim to call. Hmm? Anyone? Mayday, mayday. No, seriously, they say to you that Allah cursed the Jews. I mean, look at the look at Israel. Go, anyone go to Israel? If you do not go to Israel, you're not need to go. Just go to YouTube. Type Israel. Type any city in Israel. You will see it's 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 better than Europe. It's literally better than Europe. Way better than Europe. So those are the cursed, right? Your Allah giving you time? I don't know. Your Allah, he don't even have a time. Your Allah is a joke. We are laughing at him day and night. And one day I will die and they will say Allah killed him. Takbir. There's a, there's a Muslim. His name is Muslim Knight. Once he opened a chat room in Paltok. And they have a chat room every day open. But he made a special one to curse me. To ask Muslim to pray for my death. 
So may Allah kill a Christian prince, may Allah give him etc. May Allah make him have a, a train go over him, may Allah make a car hit him. And the Muslim all in the chat they say, I mean, very evil people. Second day, less than 24 hours, I heard that this guy, he have attack and I think he's dead now. I mean, he's dead in that time. But since then, we never, we never heard of him. Not even 24 hours after. The poor guy, he spent, I don't know how many hours cursing me, asking Allah to kill me. The second day, he have an attack and they told me, people, they came to the chat room, they said, did you hear the news? The Muslim, they are saying that this guy in the, you know, in the special unit, like in a special care unit, he have an attack. And since then, we did not see him, see him ever again. Yeah. So feel free to curse me. That will be good. Religion of cursing and hatred. You will not see Muslims saying, may God for Allah forgive you. The only one who will say that is the one who is either too much hypocrite, trying to present Islam in a better way, or a person who is naive. A true Muslim, he don't ask for forgiveness for you. He asked, may Allah kill you, may Allah destroy you, may Allah, you know, etc. Any Abdul? You know, being healthy, not healthy. I mean, you are a human being and uh, you might die for a reason. You know, we are born to die, but Muslims are very, very, you know, their hatred is is, a, is, is killing them. Uh, if, if somebody now uh, is a Muslim and he died because of cancer, I mean, cancer kill everybody, kill Christians, kill Hindus, kill Jews, kill him. did not kill him because he's a Muslim. But Muslim, they were saying the opposite. Well, Abdullah, you are stupid because you are not allowed to ask the, the to, to to say me Allah guide you to a Christian. This is against the Quran, but I will let it go because you are an ignorant donkey as usual. Your Quran forbid forbid you to say me Allah guide us. But what you can say? When the last time we saw a Muslim, he know his religion. He don't. <clears throat> you are not allowed to ask for forgiveness for non-Muslims. You are not allowed to pray for them. You are not allowed to ask for their mercy. Even your prophet, Allah, he refused his request, supposedly to forgive his mother. It's a very evil religion. Until now, how long we are here? Not a zero Mohammedan. Not a zero Mohammedan, but I'm not surprised. Cowardness is a good sign of retreat.